Welcome back. Carbonara just opened in downtown Boston, and it's an Italian eatery and wine bar where, where old school Italian cuisine meets the new world. Joining us today is Chef Mike Cordero and Beverage Director Catherine Basil. They're here to show us what's on the menu. Welcome, yeah. both well, of you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having me. Congrats. I was actually, I was actually <laughs> here a long, long time ago with J.C. Haywood. Oh, wow. I did, I did a steak segment. Okay. But, uh, Oh but, I'm glad, um, but I'm happy and I'm glad to be back with you. We're Thank happy you to have you back, yeah. especially your new restaurant. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank All you. All right, Carbonara, what's the vibe? What are we getting? You know what? When uh, I decided to uh, open an Italian restaurant, and especially in Arlington, now it's uh, more popular in the DMV, I wanted to bring that old school Italian back from New York where Frank Sinatra ah. was singing and right. Frank Sinatra was having his meal. So I wanted <laughs> to create that atmosphere in there. So uh, I decided to uh, pick this place in Boston and what we did is uh, we make everything from scratch, from the pasta oh, to wow. the fresh mozzarella, okay? Jeez. But the name Carbonara is actually a pasta. So we decided oh. to show that pasta off. Okay. And what we do, we create it in this big Parmesan wheel. We finish it off. Um, and I would love to show you one. Yes, please. Okay. Let's do I it. love the Parmesan So wheel. this is a very simple, we use bucatini. That's mm -hmm. my choice of pasta, but you can actually use any pasta, rigatoni or fettuccine or whatever. I use guancella. Guancella is a very simple dish. It's one, uh, guancella is the pork cheek of the uh, pork. Okay? okay. And this is back in the Roman days when they were using uh, th this. But, you know, a lot of people might use pancetta, which right. is another Italian. And some okay. people use bacon and, you know, they, whatever <laughs> they can find. Own. So yeah. whatever, okay. you know. So I started off with that. It's very simple. Uh, pecorino, parmesan cheese, eggs. Okay, and a little black pepper, and I brought along some pasta water, but here we go. All so right. we're gonna fry this up real Gotta quick. Start smelling good. Yep. <laughs> we're gonna let you fry that up, yeah. Chef, and Catherine, we're gonna come to you. Yeah. What do you course. have over here? So we have our espresso martini flight that we feature on our menu and our dessert menu. It has been a huge success so far. We're super excited to showcase it off. Um, cute. Yeah, we have three different kinds, so it's okay. kind of like a taster's choice. We have a tiramisu martini right here. Mm. This is our Ferrero Rocher martini. Mm. Okay. And then the one that I'm going to make for you is our pistachio martini, in which okay. we use our fresh homemade pistachio butter that we use for the gelato. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so let's right. do yeah. that while Chef's over here working away. So here we go. We, uh, we, what I do, <laughs> I, mix the, right I mix the egg with the Parmesan uh, Picorino cheese already. Now if you see a little dry, you can always use pasta water. So please uh. make sure you're reserving your pasta water. Uh. Okay, so here we go. We take a little of this, of this bucatini. Mm. Um, that's already pre-cooked. And what we want to do is reduce the heat because when you put the egg in, you don't want to have scrambled eggs. Yes, so, no. true. So that here we go. go. So we actually put the egg that. in here, no, and we just, just take it away. <laughs> we, just, we, just, we just take it away and sides. just whisk it from there, adding a little more oh pasta water gosh. so this way it's not... Uh, wow. Right. So it's beautiful. We go. We've got about 30 seconds. Can All he right. do it? All right. We're here we go. It. Let me flambe this okay. real quick. So is that one? What is that? Wow. That's this is going to be oh, the, the alcohol that oh, we that serve. Wasn't a, we backed up yep. big. It's that's a little flame. You got scared. <laughs> there it oh, is. Wow. Now you can see the flame. So and so cool. we just me, we do this just to melt the cheese real quick. So we just splatter the cheese, and then oh what I do gosh. is I actually take the actual pasta itself and put it, we put it right on the wheel. Wow. And this is what we do. Oh, mix it up that way. way. Yeah. Flight's complete over here. Our flight yep. is complete, and Beautiful. then we creme brulee. Oh, another one. <laughs> we got the flambe yeah. going. Flame. All right, we're gonna. They, fan told, they told us not to smoke this place out, but I guess <laughs> we're doing it. Wait, no, it's, it's all good. All right, you can so check good. out Thank Carbonara you. for yourself. It's located in downtown Boston, right on uh, Wilson Boulevard. You can also go to their Please website. Try a little bit. Thank Please you, CarbonaraVA.com, to make one, a reservation.